What it do, homies? We have a donation request. This time we are checking out Neon Blood by Revenge and Kyoto. Let's go ahead, shut up, turn it up. Well, the album's called I Make You Suffer. Let's get it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to, yeah, I can't understand a word this dude's saying. Uh, Revenge in Kyoto. Let's go to lyrics. I'm just going to pull this up. <laughs> to the right of me. Here we go. Okay, now we're Gucci. Let's go. Let's rewind it. like the texture in her voice now you know here in these settings it's not settings but these uh details it says it's also by miss literate as well so i'm guessing that's who's singing i'm not sure revenge of kyoto which you know is a band obviously but i don't got a lot of information about it now, i'm not sure how popular they are um but oh and there's an overview here we'll probably look at that later see if we're, i'm gonna try to see if i can guess what this song's about or at least a general just before we dive into that Yo, what are we doing here? All right, so I'm sitting here looking at the lyrics. You know, they're always watching me. Wait on my mistakes. I'll make you all see. This is the price you'll play. Interesting. You're in a position where people can watch you while you're waiting on your mistakes, which means you must be in a position of some type of power, right? Because if you're a nobody, nobody's watching you, right? I'll make you all see this is the price that you'll pay. Maybe the price for, for doubting, right? Maybe you were at the top and then you fail. And now you got to pay for that. Uh, screaming at the sun, not getting you anywhere. Um, I, my fear, oh yeah. screaming at the sun, right? I think that's kind of like an analogy for, you know, you pretty much are doing everything than what you need to do, right? Just uh, wasting a lot of resources and efforts in, into things that, you know, that's not going to do anything for you, right? Definition of insanity, you know what I mean? But then it kind of gets really weird, right? I, I gave it all away, flush it on the pavement. I would have died today to save you again. Okay. We gotta keep going. Vampires? This is amazing. You know what, man? People, people, people with voice like hers, man, I feel like can just make a killing in like ethereal 
vocal sample packs when you kind of just doing a lot of reverb on it to kind of give it that nice little cinematic bob this kind of has a, is, is a mix it's kind of hard for me to kind of put my hand on it what's going on because of how often the energy is shifting right going from like straight just hardcore to something like very very melodic it really really kind of keeps you on your toes Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm. I mean, I you know, to be completely honest with you. I'm kind of at a loss of what's going on here. I mean, I feel like I got kind of a little bit of gist of what the song was about. Like musically, yeah, a lot of turns and twists, a lot of guttural screams. Some of them was like really, really clean. I really love the the, the Miss Illiterate, which I think is her name. I'm trying to pull up an image here, which I think this is her. Miss Illiterate. Instagram. I don't know. I don't want to click on the Instagram. Sometimes it'd be some devious stuff, man. I might click on it and it'd be, you know, you know, some, 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 some corn, if you know what I mean. So I ain't gonna click on that. But yeah, musically, super sound. Um, I might have missed a mark, I feel, as far as what the song's about. Some of the lyrics here are just a little too cryptic from me, or at least it's got my mind got kind of twisting and going in different ways about what it was about. But yeah, it was, it was interesting for sure. <laughs> Anyways, this is the end of this video. Dave's out.